Maar we are wearing the shield weaver armor. Protect me armor. Oh, this does look bad. Oh, and that's Hades probably. Stab it. No. Crap. Aloy. 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 Hi, Tab. Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no, wounded, but alive mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. Holy shit. Um, I'm almost dead. There we go. That kind of fixed that. Holy crap. This is impressive, but I'm gonna quickly have to interrupt this for a second. I'll be right back because I need to uh, stop the recording and start a new one because I don't want to miss this footage. Okay, and we're back again. Let's see. Holy shit. Okay. Spire is pretty far away from here. This is where I belong, Aloy. No. The Spire calls for you. Aloy, go. We'll draw them. Now you face the true son, Shadow Demons. Ooh, so that was Uted and Nil. That was awesome. These ones are made of. Awesome. Sad that I can't help these people, but where is the spire? Is that the spire? That's not the spire. Where the hell is the spire? Cursed machine! I will answer your challenge. A Luki. Okay, she seems like she's holding her own. There's a spire. Pushing forward. Oh, and she lost her armor again. It's begun. Oh no. Hades is transmitting. Shit. That is a problem. Oh, and there's one right underneath the camp at Sunfall. Uh-oh. Go, little girl. Run away. Oh, God. That is definitely not good. Yeah, take that down with a few spears. Oh, okay. I think a lot of people will have a lot of problems. And they started eating biomatter. Activation signal. Biomass conversion initiated. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Keep running. Hades has started the signal. It must have gotten through the defenses. Venora. Aaron's vanguard. I have to get up there. No time to think about that. Is that faster? That's not faster this way. Oh, damn it. Keep going. Running! <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely what it For fuck's sake. Jump, don't jump. What do you want me to do, game? Here we go. Back to the spire. Gotta keep going. Keep pushing. Jesus, that was a, be a jump. Easy. So no holding back. Um and, and now oh. Staircase. I forgot about that one. 
Almost up there if I remember correctly. Staircase seems to be out of order. Oh, they're still alive. Aloy. They're alive. It's Aloy. Well, you, you can see that. Yeah, indeed. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. But he wants to call me alone. over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. Here we go. I should walk up. Last chance. Yeah, indeed. Just get everything we can. Make a few more arrows so that we're full up. I'm not gonna be efficient right now, so just fill up on everything. And go with the hard point arrows as always. So uh let's get up there and finish this. Okay. Climbing up there. Oh, that looked like an arena. Hello, Hades. Arrival of Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. No, but we might be able to update it. Okay. To contrary, calculations are precise. Presence of Entity has been accounted for. There we go. Let's take it out. Or maybe start with that thing. But let's take that thing out first. A corrupted Deathbringer. Get ready. There we go, there's the gun gone. I'm gonna have to take take some cover. Guns, guns, guns. There we go. Another gun now. What was that? Let's take the gun and... Out. It's brought in reinforcements. All reinforcements. Of you focus on the new machines. Yeah, so I can take out this one. But the Ravager cannon could come in handy. Okay. Whoa. Jump over the sides. We are life takers and machine breakers all. Ah, ah. The time I've got left, I can do this. Come on, they got the gun. They got the gun. They got the gun. Watch it. They keep coming. Knock them back. Don't let them overrun us. 
Okay, so this thing is almost down. Okay, aggressive scrapper. damage, so that's the noise you've been hearing. Woo. Another gun? Yep, there is. There's a gun in the back. Whoa. That's a corrupted down. Let's build up the temperature. This music is freaking awesome. Is there another gun somewhere? They're getting closer! There we go. My way's clear. The Deathbringer falls. The final is ours. Fucking kill. System threat imminent. Oh, yeah, no. indeed. Override. Come on. Purge him. Stab him in the face. Uh oh. And we go level 50. Hooray. What the hell? So that's the Spire, and that's Gaia, or no, Elizabeth. Master Override armed to activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated, purging extinction protocol. Goodbye, Hades. Boom! Hoping that takes out all the machines. There they go. Think. Goodbye, Hades. May you never see the light of day again.
<laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. Data integrity restored. Gaia log 3rd of February. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God. So she called the fire department and after she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care. And that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query, what did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something, to serve life, not death. And there she is. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. Guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious. and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to heal the world just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Who? And now I'm sitting here crying again. And the end credits in the cauldron. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh, that was, that was an amazing journey and an amazing ending to an, a, an incredible game. I mean, these guys are just, I can't even fathom how these guys pulled it off. Guerrilla Games, great work. That was, how you guys went from making Killzone to this, this is, it's amazing. But uh, a such a gripping story such a an interesting world you want to you want to every question that's that's asked you want to have an answer to and you guys delivered for the most part so yeah wow just wow i can't i'm, I'm speechless again I, I know this happens at a lot of endings to games but yeah this this is just such an amazing game i'm The music, the visuals, the, the story, the characters mean 
I feel this is definitely gonna be a game that I'm gonna 100% off to this. Just gonna, just to, to be able to, to keep going. Just to be able to, to stay in it a, a little longer. Just to explore every nook and cranny. Because I haven't even, I think I only uh, discovered half of the, the cauldron. So the, the, the things we're running through at the moment in the, the end credit scenes here. But yeah, that was... I mean, the, the, the entire idea of having a bunch of robots and an AI through biometric conversion destroy the entire planet and then to have the idea to try and save as much as we could. It's just amazing with, with then a lot of subplots with, with that Pharaoh eventually betraying everybody, killing everybody off after Elizabeth sacrificed herself to save the project. It caused the knowledge to disappear, but humanity was strong enough to uh, persevere on its own. And yeah, I think most of the... I don't really have any more questions, maybe aside from why Hades exactly took the decision to, to just wipe out everything anyway. Because he... The Hades AI was originally planned to be just there to just in case something went wrong. So I'm not really sure what caused them to think that everything went wrong. Everything deserved another do-over. But it happened. And that caused for a... Well, a great villain, actually. The name might have been a bit a bit silly. Of course, the, the, the old gods, the Greek gods of mythology were used for the separate parts of the AI. But yeah. I'm just gonna let this run a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna say much, much interesting uh, while this is going. Uh, maybe for the for the continuation of this series, I'm not gonna stop uh, right there just yet. We still have a few more cauldrons we need to discover. Um, there's a few more side quests I haven't touched yet, but most of the bigger parts are done. Um, so we killed all the bandit camps, we, we cleared out all the bandit camps, so Nils' questline is completed. We did everything in the Hunter's Lodge, uh, aside from me doing all the trials, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, so yeah, there's still a few side quests left, and a few cauldrons that I left open, and otherwise, yeah, that's going to be almost it for this series, and what a series it has been, because... Even the design of the robots and then the fact that those robots were incorporated into the story, why they were there, not just... Because I said it pretty early on, that it looked like all the robots had their own task in nature and not just... They weren't just there to, to kill everybody off, aside from a few, because um, the story kind of touched on that, but for example the Thunderjaws and the Ravagers didn't really have a function. Uh, because I, we can assume that Hades was behind uh, all that. Because the, the machine started to run the ramp in the bit uh, when the game started. It became more aggressive and I think that was because Hades started to get more control. And the robots that the newly created robots were mainly focused on uh, taking out human life. Which were then the Ravagers and the, the Sawtooths and the Thunderjaws. So... But the other robots, like, all had a function to perform. So they, they cleaned up a lot of stuff. Like the Stormbirds were there to, to purify the air. The, the Glint Hawks were there to clean up. And the Scrappers as well to clean up uh, any robotic parts that were left behind. Um, grazers were there to uh, clear up at, at any soil. Um, and then, of course, the Rock Breakers were there to uh, terraform a bit. To uh, make, make mountains, I can, I can only assume. So almost all the robots had their own function, and that's what's so great about this 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 whole idea of having uh, an entire system, a self-serving system that's there to just create the world again, to, to complete Earth again, to fix the, the, the planet. And that's what's happening at this very moment. The, the, the visuals that we're seeing right here is a cauldron working hard to uh, fix the entire planet from what the... Uh, the Pharaoh robots have done. And even even that character, so they, they made an entire storyline with characters that we don't even really meet. But even at the very end, the only character you almost 
so close to is of course Elizabeth Sobek, who you never see in person, but it's so incredibly crafted that you just feel a connection. Of course, because Aloy is a, a copy of her, but not just a copy. I mean, she's she has, it's a, a whole separate discussion, of course, but she's she has, well, she's been raised a lot differently than Elizabeth has been, obviously. And a lot of that incorporates in how her character is. So I think Elizabeth Sobek would have been really proud of her clone. But I, I don't think we can call Aloy a clone because she has made her own path. She's not just Elizabeth Sobek number two. She has made her own accomplishment. She's a very, very strong female lead. Let's not forget about that. It, this is one of the only games that has such a strong female lead. I mean, every other character, there there are a few other female characters, of course, but the, the, the male characters are just there to support her, not to, to help her further. She doesn't need their help, but they're there to just, well, keep an eye out. But they're definitely not above her. That's, that's, that, that's another thing that this game really, really did amazingly. Um... It's not just having a female lead for the sake of having a female lead. They did amazingly on that account. They made a great character, great world. I mean, I keep kissing their asses at the moment, but I'm also starting to realize that this uh, visual loop, well, this, this visual representation of the cauldron is going on a loop because I think we saw all that already. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, if there is another scene at the end, you'll see it right after I stop talking. But yeah, um... What did you guys think? Did you enjoy the series? How did you like the game if you played it? Um, do you want me to do anything else with it? Um, yeah, this. I just want to hear your, your, your opinion as well. Because I obviously really liked it a lot. Otherwise I wouldn't have done a complete series in, in, the, in this game. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm really curious to hear, to hear about what you guys have to say about this. So don't hesitate. To put something in the comments down below. I really would like to uh, continue this conversation down below. So uh, special thanks to all that those guys apparently. But more than that, of course, special thanks to all you guys for watching. I uh, couldn't have done it without your uh, support. And uh, well, let's see if there's anything else at the end. Secret Ancient Mark Cerny. Oh, Mark Cerny from uh, Sony. Yeah, okay. So uh, let's see if there's anything else at the end of this, these credits. Oh! It's not over yet. Don't touch that. Oh, yeah. Okay. How can an AI have a physical manifestation? That's bullshit. Hello, Silence. He's gonna capture him. Hello, old friend. Remember me? We've still so much to discuss. Of course. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, okay. let's begin. Wow. That is another pretty big Horus. So there goes my final question I still had. Congratulations on defeating Hades and protecting Gaia's dream of an Earth reborn. You've Just because you've completed Alo's main story doesn't mean you've finished the game. You are free to continue exploring and complete any unfinished quests and activities. The state of the world has been restored just before the looming shadow. You keep all loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Thank you for playing the Horizon team. Thank you guys. Really, really well done. So completed the main quest, ended the war machine threat. And yeah, ended the game. So yeah, that kind of cliffhanger at the end where Silence captures Hades. He mentions the only question I still had. Why did Hades decide that everybody needed to uh, 
well, that the world needed a do-over. Apparently there are masters that sent the signal to revive him. So uh, that might be where the next game is going to talk about. But, I mean, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, clearly. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this, uh, well, this episode and this entire series. Don't forget to check out any other series. Because I have uh, been going through Mass Effect Andromeda as well uh, lately. I've done a complete playthrough of The Witcher 3 and all its DLC. So that might be something that you uh, might be interested in as well. If you like Horizon Zero Dawn. But yeah, with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So uh, thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye. Yeah,